We're building a 408. Our target is right around 500 wheel horsepower and 500 wheel foot-pounds of torque. We wanted to run on pump gas and we didn't want to go over 6,000 RPM. We're gonna see how close we can get to those numbers. Marty from Utah Awesome Performance does a beautiful job with these intake manifolds. If you look at these two keggers, they are identical. They look like they are one and the same until you look at this portion right here. This is what, this is a stage two modified intake manifold from Utossum and he does a lot of magic inside of your factory kegger intake manifold tuned to your engine and he's done that to ours. Why is this so big? It's to fit a fancy throttle body. This right here is our new intake mat or is our new throttle body and you can buy one of these for your vehicle but you have to make sure that your intake manifold will take this throttle body to be able to open it all the way up. As you can tell, if you tried to bolt this to a factory one, we can't open the throttle blades all the way. Uh, they actually require your core because they use the factory throttle linkage and throttle shaft. Everything else is brand new and made in-house by them. All your factory sensors and all your factory uh, units will all bolt directly on to this throttle body. Your idle air controller, your throttle position sensor. You will need to open up your intake manifold, the top of your intake manifold, to actually fit these massive, massive butterflies, or a single butterfly, I should say. But if you have an engine that can gulp this amount of air, this is very much worth it. Let's take a look and see what Utossum has done in here. Nice wedge built into the intake manifold that deflects the air designed for our specific Magnum. We told Marty at Utossum Performance what we were planning on do, doing, what our RPM range was, what our camshaft was, and he designed this intake manifold. You can see the volume of air that's actually inside this intake manifold has been drastically reduced with these plates that are in here. The large volume of air worked really great for the air to tumble and flow through an intake manifold at low velocities, at low RPM. That's not what this intake manifold is intended for. We want a little bit higher RPM range and we want to have a more direct path into the intake runners, which is why you can see these have been chopped down much lower than the factory casting here. You can also see this plate right here has been machined out and disposed of for the most part to give us the wide opening along with that big intake, that big throttle body opening which we showed you earlier that 108 millimeters to be able to engulf all that air we plan on running. Now these castings look identical. So is this, does they Utossum are. build the casting? Nope. Utossum will take your existing intake manifold and modify it to this level. You can not only send your intake manifold down to get modified, you can exchange your intake manifold to get modified, or you can actually buy these parts from Utossum to do this yourself. We have their VRP plates and you have your intake manifold wedge here and you can buy all these right off their website and do this work yourself if it's something that you feel comfortable in doing. So let's go over the individual parts that we actually got on our Eagle Specialties kit here. This is our forged kit. It's designed for our Magnum motor. So what we have here is we have a set of forged pistons. They're H-beam connecting rods. These are from Mali. H-beam connecting rods from Eagle Specialties. We have a floating pin. Style design, not a press fit, with the dreaded circle clips that go in there. These ones are not too bad to install, and we'll show you all that install process once we get all our parts back from our machine shop. As you can see, we've also they've also included a set of king bearings for both the mains and the connecting rods. These are their black series. These are uh, a hardened bearing and designed for some pretty severe abuse. Going back to our piston, with the dish that we have on here, we're gonna get ourselves right around 10 and a quarter to one compression ratio. 
That means that we will be able to run on pump gas without a problem. Some of the updates that we've done, or that they have done, I should say, is our piston rings. These are a one millimeter, one millimeter, two millimeter ring pack. The factory Dodge Magnum used a 1.5 millimeter top ring, a 1.5 millimeter second ring, and a three millimeter oil scraper. What this is gonna do for us is it's going to allow the piston ring to have a little more flexibility in the piston bore to get us better sealing, which is obviously a good thing. And studies have shown that it will not produce any more blow-by than a standard ring pack, a standard size ring pack. So we're really excited to run that. In this style of engine, you can typically expect to gain about eight to 10 horsepower across the entire RPM range with running thinner rings for a properly sized piston. This is our forged crankshaft. Now this kit could come with either a cast crank or a forged crank. We didn't know where our power numbers were gonna be. The price does go up for this to have a forged steel piece. We always feel that it's best to put our money into the bottom end of the engine because that's somewhere you don't want to have to be going and taking apart periodically. So we're very happy that we got this crank. As you can see, all the oil passages have been chamfered very nicely. All the running surfaces have been polished. It's a very nice piece. The other thing you might notice is all this material taken off here. Now, a Magnum, the Magnum engines, there's the 5.2 and the 5.9. The 5.2 was internally balanced. That means that your harmonic balancer, which bolts onto this end, and your flex plate that bolt on to this end are neutrally balanced. That means there's no counterweights on them. On the typical Magnum 5.9 engine, you were externally balanced. So your flex plate or flywheel had an offset weight and your harmonic balancer had an offset weight. So if you're taking this crankshaft and this assembly and putting it into your engine, the other parts you're going to need are a harmonic balancer and a flex plate that are neutrally balanced. You can get those from Summit Racing and a bunch of different brands. We have a Pro Bond one in one of these boxes sitting behind us that will be for this uh, engine and we'll make sure that this engine assembly rotates nice and smoothly. This whole assembly has already been dynamically balanced from the factory so there's no need to take any of these parts down to your engine shop and have them balanced again. Everything will be just fine. What you will need to take down to your engine building shop is your pistons to make sure that they get the proper clearance between the piston side and the piston skirt and the wall, the cylinder wall of your engine block. For ours, we're going to be right around five thousandths. That's just because of we are running a forged piston, which expands a little more in heat than a hyper eutectic, and the amount of power that we plan on running. So we're planning on putting a fair bit of heat into these, so we need that little bit extra clearance. So we want to give a big thanks to the people who've helped with this project. Summit Absolutely. Racing has been awesome with getting us parts as best they can, despite them having to sit at the border for the last year and a half. Again, if you want any of those 2020 calendars, <laughs> give us a call. But a huge thanks to Eagle Specialty Products, Molly and King Bearings. Their kits came together beautifully. Everything is looking really nice and complete and it saved us a ton of time trying to figure out exactly what we we're gonna need and what parts we're gonna work with our Magnum motor. Now it's on to us to get that lump of iron down to the machine shop, then we start bolting it together. Some of the other cool parts, again, huge thanks to Utah some performance, this beautiful, beautiful 3D printed 108 millimeter throttle body. Really quite affordable. I can't remember prices off the top of my head. Check their website, beautiful piece. And they actually sell all the parts for you to modify your own kegger intake manifold to look just like this one inside and out. So give them a, a look and there are plenty of good help videos on setting up your Magnum motor from them as well. That's Utah some performance. Next video on this, we're going to actually start the assembly of a lot of these pieces. That'll be super cool. Uh, if you've missed parts one and two, definitely start there. Uh, and other than that, if you enjoyed this video, 
please share it. Smash that like button. And if you want to see more, please subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss out on any new videos, including the next exciting assembly of the 5.9 liter Magnum. Till next time, stay safe. We'll see you on the trails and in the garage.